fake it till you make it just doesn't work. There's no exit strategy because you're trying to give an appearance that you're something that you're not. And it's, it's, it's just, it's lying. Withholding the truth is the exact same thing as lying. Yeah. And it's like, do you want to live a lie or do you want to live in truth? And there's really no in between. Yeah. Like there's, there's literally no in between. And when you start thinking about that, then it puts everything in this perspective of like seeking the truth in all areas of your life. Mm -hmm. um, which is a very interesting place to be, but it's a very um, growth mindset, it's a very, it's a very expansive place to be mentally. But to me, it's just about living in truth. Uh, I did a podcast with this guy, uh, his name's Sean Whalen, and I had him on a podcast and I asked, hey, what's one thing you quit doing that enables you to succeed? It's like a question I always ask these people. And he said, lying. I said, about what? He said, everything. I was like, geez. He's like, everything. He's like, I lied to, to everyone about everything. And it was just that idea, that whole thing. Like, yeah, I'm doing great, doing great. How are you? I'm fine, great, awesome. And he had a gun in his mouth one night and, and realized that like none of this stuff matters. It's all about living in truth. And there's a, that's a lot to unpack. Um, but this idea of, of not just living in truth when it's comfortable, but always telling the truth. It's the most liberating to live in truth you know, what's that Mark Twain quote of, um, if you always tell the truth, you never have to worry about what you say. Like, it's just, the, it's just the greatest feeling of all time, just to live in it, just to put it all out there and, and, not, and you'll never not care what others think, but not let the opinions of others affect your actions and what you're gonna do in, uh, anyway. And man, it's just been the most Im impacting, it's been the biggest impact that I've, that I've made on myself and then I've seen it play out with others and it's just all I want to do now. So it's all I want to do. Like to the point where I, I weirdly want bad things to happen, even though I don't want to experience it, because I want to be able to go through it in a public way so that people can be, that people can benefit from watching me work through it. So the reason why, why discovering the truth is so important is because every single <laughs> self-defeating behavior, so if you think about self-defeating behaviors, every single self-defeating behavior in your life is a lie that you believe. You know, think of like, if I, if I can just do this, then I'll get that. If I just do this, then I'll be happy. If, uh, I, yeah. if I do this, people will like me. If I do this, then I'll be successful. All those little things, like every, you can look back to every single problem in your life, every single time that you've been through struggles and had obstacles, mm -hmm. It was all because of different lies that you were believing at 100%, that time. 100%. And obviously hindsight's 2020, but being able to look back on your life and say, okay, all of these things that have happened, now who really am I? Until you figure that out, you're building a foundation that's just fake.